This is Aaron Dunn speaking. This is my second official introduction video. May God bless every one of you. This is the phone that you will be looking at once you see this video. Hello. Viewers, including the internet land, uh, including Jordan, Nick, and H, as well as Trisha, Christopher, and uh, Lunar Reviews, this is Aaron Dunn speaking. Um, I just got this package in today, and here's my name. And I don't want to mention the seller's name because, well, it's private information for the seller. So anyway, it came from Bradenton, Florida, but of course, anyway, this one came from the eBay today and came to me, and it is the, let me go ahead and put the phone camera aside, so let me go ahead and open it. If I can open it. Okay, it shouldn't even be open from right there. It should be open from right here. Okay, now I gotta go ahead and get it down the middle. Okay. So now, let me go ahead and um, open the package. Let me put the phone camera aside. Alright. Okay, hold up. There's also yet another problem with this, however, since I was using the tweezers. Oh. Hold up a second, guys. I'll be right there. Uh, hold up. Wow, this is gonna take a while. Okay then. So now one side of it is open. Let me go ahead and get the other side open. Okay, actually, I got both sides open. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Should be. Let me put the phone camera aside. Okay, hold up. Uh, hold up a second. Okay. Alrighty then, now let's go ahead and open it up. Wow, styrofoam? More and more styrofoam? Let's see, what do I have here otherwise? Let me go ahead and get the star styrofoam out of the way no wonder they packaged it with more styrofoam uh, I actually won this item anyway whenever I bought the item from the eBay or paid for the item so let's see what I have here okay here's the handset and it's sitting right over here And here's the other part of the packaging, which of course includes the base unit. So here it is. Now let me go ahead and put the phone camera aside. 
All right then. Since this is AT&T branded, which I'm surprised. This handset has color display written on it. So let me go ahead and put it aside. Let me go ahead and open this up. Okay. Oops. Yep, it come out. I don't know why, but it did come out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna unplug which I'm surprised it even was on this power I mean this surprising that it is a uh, thing right here all right then now let's go ahead and get the base unit plugged into the phone uh, this one does have the um, automatic or authoritative mature pleasant voice on the machine I know it does so anyway let me go ahead and um, try to get the thing taken care of let me go and try to get the rubber band taken care of so that way I won't need anything else by the way this is the original telephone line cord this is the handset which is display colored and this is the power cord. I'll try to plug this in, so let me go ahead and put the phone camera aside. All right then, now let's go ahead and unwrap this power cord. This is a pretty useful power cord. And whoa, does have the same power cord as the uh, other 5.8s. And uh, it is a, let me go ahead and uh, check. It is a component telephone power supply class 2 model number 38Y or SY-09060 with the input at AC 117 volts and 60 hertz and 12 watts with the output being at DC 9 volts and 600 milliamps. Made in China. Surprisingly, that's the power cord in the handset with the color display uh, logo. And the telephone line cord, and here's the base unit. This is the AT&T EP5995 5.8 GHz cordless analog speakerphone with digital answer and system. And by the way, I can actually access the answering system from the handset itself, which is pretty amazing. And here is the caller ID display screen, um, which has not been yet uploaded. Oh, by the way, you can also record a memo message or an announcement if you wish to do so. Um, it does have the same display as, of course, the E2126 that Nick just got in today. And, um, let me look at the, uh, phone battery and see what type of phone battery we have in here. Surprisingly, it is a Rayovac battery. Which is operated... Come on, camera, please focus. There we go. It is Ray 189 at 36, 3.6 volts at 700 milliamps nickel metal hydride, which, of course, is made at Hartland, Wisconsin. And it's also made. Oh, wow. Oh, here is more information on the bottom. It says caution, to reduce the risk of fire, use only AT&T battery 1, 
82 or 102 slash 103. Okay. This is a Rayovac rechargeable battery, which I'm surprised to even see it take one of those batteries. Anyway, and here is the uh, volume button, which you can use to try to uh, volume up the handset. You can press up to turn it up to loud. You can also remotely access the answering system from the handset with the answering system button. So yeah, that would make perfect sense. So yeah, anyway. That was it for this video. If you have any questions, problems, concerns, or whatever while I'm doing this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, or please leave me a message on the YouTube comments page or comments box. May God bless every one of you. Thank you for watching my videos. May God bless every one of you. From here and done.